Islamic Republic of Iran exposed as the hacker of Charlie Hebdo. So on February 3rd, security researchers at Microsoft revealed that a hacking team backed by the Iranian regime allegedly stole and leaked private customer data from the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. In January of 2023, the magazine was hacked after it published a series of cartoons mocking and criticizing Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei and the Islamic Republic. In reaction to the cartoons, Iran publicly summoned the French envoy to Iran, terminated the French research the French Institute of Research activities in the country, and reevaluated France's cultural activities in Iran. A report by Microsoft stated that the cybersecurity attacks were part of a broader digital influence operation whose techniques were highly similar to pre uh, previously previous activities connected to the Iranian-backed hacking teams. The report also stated that the hacking group responsible for the cyber attack is reported to be the same one that the U.S. Department of Justice officials identified as having conducted a, quote, multifaceted campaign to interfere during the 2022 presidential elections. Armin, did you hear about this? No, I'm hearing it from you for the first time. What the hell? What's yeah. the purpose of this? What is, what do they aim to, what do you think they would accomplish by doing this? Um, so one, well, okay, what, here's what they actually did. They hacked the website, <laughs> God, I'm just saying hard revenge. Um, they hacked the website and they um, then stole the subscriber data. And so, and that can, if you have the subscriber data, that means that you have identifying information about that individual because the individual has to pay, you know, Charlie Ebdo for the access, which means that they have their name and then their billing address and um, payment information and stuff like that. And so what this hacking group did was they, um, it was basically like a ransom attack. And so they said that they were going to, let me pull up the exact number. Um, the hacker group also said in their post that they would sell the details of Charlie Hebdo's subscriber base for 20 Bitcoins, which was worth about $470,000, $470,000. Um, a sample of the leaked data was released later on and verified by the French newspaper Le Monde. And it said, this micro researchers at Microsoft said this information obtained by the Iranian actor could put the magazine subscribers at risk for online or physical physical char targeting by extremist organizations. Mm. And then, oh, and this is the funny part. Iranian hackers used social media accounts with fake or stolen identities to further expand their operation and criticize the Khamenei cartoon caricatures. Microsoft said that two social media accounts pretending to be a Charlie Hebdo editor and a technology executive posted the leaked data before Twitter deleted them. So <clears throat> Microsoft revealed that they, a, a, a faction of their disinformation campaign on Twitter, because we already know that the regime does this, but they connected it to this specific action as well. The name of this hacking group in support of the regime is apparently called Holy Souls. Amazing. Um, I think I know why they're doing this, and it goes back to what Qasem is saying. When he said hard revenge, uh, as he's referring to a term that people use, the government uses, because they look weak. If mm. they, they, did have, they had caricatures of Khamenei, and if they don't respond, they look like they are weak and pathetic, and they can't um, make their enemies regret what they have done. So they might just do this just to be like, ah, we took their revenge. We showed them that nobody could. It, it's a thing in, by the way, in the, in that culture, you know, you you look as weak and pathetic. If somebody takes a jab at you and you have nothing to do back there, you have to, if you, you don't look manly and strong, if you don't make the other side regret what they have done. Right. So I think this goes, th this, hacking incident is just the way it has a local a local audience this news so that sh to show like look anybody they have a they have a saying they say 
um, هر کی با آل علی در افتاد و رفتاد یوسف تنیدا میز لایک انی بادی دت کامز وت انی بادی هو اتاکس د د پیپل اف علی ول سافر ول ول بی کراش رایت سو اگین دس از By the way, um, a lot of people. Oh yeah, actually, when let me know when the, we're, we're done talking about this because I want to mention something about. Yeah, we're done with this. Oh yeah. Case. Okay, people are saying yeah, we have Kairat. Exactly, it's Kairat. It's about honor. It's about honor. Exactly, Rasam. Exactly. Uh -huh. here, here's the thing. Ba Ali, Ba Ali Ali har ke dar oftad bar oftad. Yeah, oh, okay, he's saying read it right. Like apparently I wasn't reading it properly. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.